Hello friends, this video on graphs part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at some of the questions now. The following line graph shows the yearly sales figures for a manufacturing company. Okay. What were the sales in 2002 and 2006? Okay, so where is 2002? This is 2002 on the x-axis and what is the corresponding sales for 2002? It's 4 and what is 4? This unit is in crores. That means uh, the sales in 2002 was rupees 4 crores. And what about in 2006? So this is 2006. And the value correspond to two corresponding to 2006 is 8. So in 2006, the sales was rupees 8 crores. Let's move on to the next question. What were the sales in 2003 and 2005? So again, 2003, this is the value. And how much is this 2003? So if this is 6, this is 8. This point is exact midway between 6 and 8. So this has to be 7. So therefore in 2003, the sales were rupees 7 crores. How about 2005? So for 2005, this is the value which corresponds to 10. That is rupees 10 crores. Next question, compute the difference between the sales in 2002 and 2006. So what? Are, how much is the sales in 2002? So just now we found out it is rupees 8 crores. And how much is the sales in 2006? That also we found out. I'm sorry, 2002 it was rupees 4 crores and 2006 it is rupees 8 crores. Therefore, what, are, what would be the difference? So the difference would be 8 minus 4 which is equal to 4 crores. Again the next question, in which year was there the greatest difference between the sales as compared to its previous year? That means which is that year when the difference between the sales as compared to its previous year is maximum? That means if you compare 2000 so for 2002 we do not know the sales in previous year that is 2001's data is not given so 2002 cannot be the answer 2003 so if you talk about 2003 in 2003 the sales was 7 crores and in 2002 it was 4 crores so how much is the difference so for 2000 if you consider the year 2003 then the difference from its previous year was 7 minus 4 that is rupees 3 crores so this is the difference right now i am talking about the difference similarly if you talk about 2004 so this is 2004 so in 2004 if you look at the difference from previous year it is 7 minus 6 which is 1 crore right if you talk about 2005 so in 2005 it is 10 and in 2004 it was 6 so the difference would be 10 minus 6 which is 4 crores so in 2005, the difference is rupees 4 crores because 2005 and 2004 value and subtract the two. So whatever is the difference, that is the difference between the sales as compared to its previous year. So and this value is maximum for 2005. So 2005 would be the correct answer. So I hope you understood the question. You have to find out that year where the difference between the sales in that year compared to the previous year is the maximum. So first of all, it, it would have increased and the increase should be maximum. So in this case, if you see from 2004 to 2005, obviously the sales increased at it, and it increased by rupees 4 crores, which is the maximum difference when compared to all other years. Question number two, the following graph shows the temperature forecast and the actual temperature for each day of a week. On which days was the forecast temperature the same as the actual temperature? Now, which is actual temperature? This line is actual temperature and the dotted line is forecast temperature. So you have to find out those days when both have same values. So these are the points when, where the dotted line and the uh, solid line both of them intersect 
those are the points where the temperature both the temperatures are same right so one such day would be tuesday because this point is corresponding to tuesday another such point could be friday so you see here and another such point could be sunday because these are the points where the dotted line and the solid line they both intersect each other that is they both meet because both of them have the same value so the answer would be tuesday friday and sunday next one what was the maximum forecast temperature during the week so forecast temperature is given by the dotted line so just look at the values of the dotted lines one value is here another is here another is here so increasing trend then again decreasing trend then again increasing trend and which is the highest value this is the highest value so how much is this value this value corresponds to 35 so 35 degree celsius would be the maximum temp forecast temperature during the week what was the minimum actual temperature during the week so actual temperature means we will have to focus on the solid line graph so here where do you see the minimum value point so the minimum value point is here and this corresponds to 15 degree celsius on which day did the actual temperature differ the most from the forecast temperature so now you have to right like in the first point you found out the days when both the temperatures were same now you have to find out the day when the difference between the temp two temperatures is maximum so if you look at monday so the difference between the two temperature is this is how much so this value is somewhere between 15 and 20 so that means this difference would be around 2.5 right tuesday anyways the difference is zero because both temperatures are same wednesday this much is the difference so one unit so 25 to 30 that that means five degrees the difference between these two temperatures now if you move on to thursday so this represents the difference between the two temperatures and this is one two three three boxes so basically from 15 to 20 and then 2.5 so basically it is 7.5 now here again friday both have same saturday again it is less because it is just 5 5 degrees and sunday again both are same so where do you have the maximum difference so the maximum difference is on thursday and the difference is 7.5 degrees celsius so here the answer would be thursday Question number three, can there be a time temperature graph as follows? Justify your answer. So let us look at each of the graphs one by one. So first we look at the first one. Let's call this as A. So here what do we see as time increases? So as value of time increases, the value of temperature increases, right? When time is here, temperature is here. And that is how you get this point. Similarly, when time is here, corresponding temperature is here and that's how you get this point and then you join these points to get this line so this shows that as time increases temperature also increases so yes this could be a possible time temperature graph so this is possible let's look at the next graph here which says that as time increases temperature decreases like when time was here then temperature was here right and that's how you got this point when time was here then the corresponding temperature was here so that is here now as time was here the corresponding temperature was here so basically you see as your time is increasing along the x-axis the temperature is decreasing along the y-axis so with increase in time there is a decrease in temperature that is also possible now let us move on to the third graph where we see that the temperature value value of temperature is increasing but time is not increasing that means if you see for every point on the graph the time is at this point so time is not increasing now do you think that it is possible so can you stop time nobody can stop time so time will keep on increasing so time has to change so nobody can stop time and therefore time cannot remain constant so this is not a feasible graph this is not at all possible 
Now let's move on to the fourth graph which shows that the time is increasing but the temperature remains constant. So you see when time was here, temperature is here, when time is here, temperature is still rep rep corresponding to this value. So basically the time is increasing along the x-axis but the value for temperature is remaining the same on the y-axis. Well that is again possible that temperature might remain constant with increasing time. So this one is also possible. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.